Ha ho ba. I had to Google that one. Now this is about a seven day growth, as you can see. All right, so today's Sunday shave is gonna be a departure from the series. I think we're at episode eight now, and I think I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. So for those of you who have tuned in, you know that last week I missed the Sunday shave. And the reason I did was I started putting on this beard. I've been toying with this for a long time. Years ago, I had bald spots, but then the bald spots down here filled in and bald spots up here developed. But I'd get to seven days, seven, eight days, and I'd get, it would be so itchy, guys, that I'd, I'd in the middle of the night, I'd get up and shave it off. So I like the looks of it, even though it's coming in white. And I figured, you know, maybe I'd grow a beard for a little bit. So my Sunday shave might be compromised here. But anyway, I was in the store the other day and I saw something here. It's new, new, just for men. The best face and beard wash ever. I am a sucker. If you know anything about me, guys, you know I'm a sucker for marketing. And look at this, old school graphic, nice popping blue color with black and white text. Hey, come on, it's like calling my name, anyway. The best face and beard wash ever. Helps prevent beard itch. Unclogs pores, calms and moisturizes with soothing oatmeal, aloe, chamomile, and jojoba oil. Jojoba oil, I had to Google that. I had to Google that. I'm gonna try this product for another week. So today's Sunday shave will not be me shaving, it'll be me cleaning my beard and providing the best face and beard wash ever. So for you folks out there that have toyed with the idea of growing a beard, but like me, you just can't get past that seven day itch, you know, like the seven year itch, but the seven day itch, this review is for you. Believe me guys, if I can get through a week without cutting this off, this works. <laughs> A creamy consistency, very liquidy, not a thick paste. And I'm gonna apply. Now there's a, a mild scent to this. And an oily feel, guys. It's got an oily consistency. Mild scent. A well, scent I really have never smelled before. Maybe that's the jojoba oil, which I understand is uh, can be an expensive extract if you're buying it. I will continue to shave my neck, so maybe I will pump out some shaving videos this week just cleaning up the neck, but I'm gonna see if this product works. This two-in-one is part beard shampoo and part face wash. It gently cleans, moisturizes skin, unclogs pores, and helps prevent beard itch. Made to give you your best beard ever. Directions, use like you would a cleanser. Massage onto your beard and rinse, and avoid contact with eyes. So I've worked that in, lathered that in real nice. Disappears. Light smell, guys. So it's not going to add any fragrance to your life, which is what I like. And I think most of us men like. We don't want a lot of fragrance on us. I mean, if we do, we put some cologne on. But now I'm going to rinse it off. But it feels nice and calm or calming and soothing. Kind of coats that beard. All right, let's rinse it off. Rinsed it off with cool water. Feels good. I will follow up next Sunday and give you the results, guys, on the new Just For Men, the best face and beard wash ever. I'll let you know. I will let you know. And as always, I want to thank you for watching. I hope you have a great Sunday. Again, links below for 
this and some other average guy tested and approved products. And I'll see you guys next time, which will probably be tomorrow or the day after, at least next week when I give you the results. But in the meantime, guys, remember, 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 keep pushing, play, and I'll see you next time. And I'm going to keep feeling my soft beard. Jojoba. I had to Google that one. I got some white hair coming through because I'm a gray beard.